All right, so I get asked questions all the time about real estate, but something hit me the other night. Um, Miss Lisa and I, my wife Lisa, were on um, a little date night Friday night, and we went to one of our favorite places right here in Sandfly, Norwood Tavern. And uh, shout out the Norwood Tavern, amazing food. Probably can't eat it more than once or twice a month. Um, it's uh, unbelievable, but you should probably have a heart attack if you ate it too much. But anyway, shout out the Norwood Tavern. Michelle, love coming to see you. But anyway, so we're leaving Norwood Tavern, and um, a couple of our, our buddies are there, um, and they're talking to a younger guy, and I'm walking out, and they were like, hey, you need to go talk to Ed, and I'm like, yeah, what's up? And, you know, I went over and talked to him, and started talking to him, and the guy, the younger guy, was probably in his early 30s, maybe 34, 35, um, and he was contemplating uh, buying some rental property. Well, listen... Up to this point, this guy has done everything phenomenal, as perfect as you get at 34, 35 years old. He bought a house five years ago, I think it was about five years ago, um, got a great deal on it, incredible interest rate, has actually paid the house off, okay, and he's saved some money and wants to invest in real estate, you know, buy investment property. And I, he asked me, he says, what do you think, you know, prices are this and the economy and blah, blah, blah and all this other craziness. And I told him a little story, and I've told this story before, so if you've, you've heard this, uh, fast forward the video, but uh, I bought my first piece of real estate in 1991, um, paid $18,000 for it. It was a townhome in, in Denver, it was off of Emerson Street, right behind the Children's Hospital. And I fixed it up, killed myself, fixed it up in less than, I don't know, three, two, three months, and sold it for $68,000, $69,000. I thought I was the man. Made some money. It was great. It was fun. I, I did a lot of the work myself. Um, but fast forward 30 plus years, and the house today, that house that I paid 18 grand for, sold it for $69,000, is worth five sixty, five hundred and sixty thousand dollars. All right. Between 1991 and today. The market's gone up and down and up and down. We had the, you know, what everybody said was the greatest real estate crash in history in 2009, 10, 11, which I guess maybe it was. But um, uh, this thing is worth five hundred and sixty thousand dollars. So my, I told, I told this guy the story, and my point to the story is that no matter what you do, if you hold real estate long term, you can afford the payments. Now, this is rental property. If you can afford the payments and the mortgage covers the payments and you, you've got a, a, a margin of safety, a profit in that, um, and you're gonna hold it long term, you can't go wrong because the market's gonna go up and down and up and down. But if you're making money on it and you're getting a return you're happy with today based on whatever you pay for it, over time, you're gonna pay the thing down and you're gonna be making money on it and then it's going to appreciate, okay? If, is that is it gonna appreciate 3% a year, 10% a year, 5% a year, I don't know, okay? But in the long term, you're gonna be fine. Okay. Again, sold it for 62 grand, paid 18, sold it for 62. It's now worth 560. Okay. No one knows what's gonna happen long term. But as long as you do those things that I just said, as long as you can, the payments are reasonable. You can rent it out and make money on it and make you know a couple three four hundred dollars a month profit on it. Um, you're gonna be fine. And same thing with a house. If you if you buy a house today, you're in the house 15 20 years. Who cares? Think about what's happened in the last 15, 20 years to real estate. It's gone up and down and up and down. You need a roof over your head. So you can either pay somebody else's mortgage or you can pay your own mortgage. I choose to pay my own mortgage, all right? Um, if you have any questions, call me at 912-844-9000. You wanna reach out to me, have any comments, uh, put them down below, whatever social media is, uh, you're watching this on. Um, as always, thanks for watching.